Okay, so in this video I'm going to go through the features which are related to the table of contents. So here I've actually got my UEC guide already loaded up into my Ultimate eBook Creator just as a demonstration. And as you can see that we have a whole bunch of chapters and sections and things like that. Okay, so let's click on the table of contents and we'll see a whole new interface. Okay, so we'll go through this one by one. It's actually um, very easy to understand and it's quite powerful. So first of all, um, over here in this text box, I have the text table of contents. Now this relates to the title of the table of contents page. So if I bring up the Kindle uh, desktop preview uh, of viewer, I should call it. Okay, so here's my uh, desktop viewer. This piece of text here is actually the title of this uh, table of contents page. Okay, now we can control the, we can rename this and we can even show and hide this. And the way you do that is basically you can change this to say whatever you want. So we can call it TOC and then we can even, um, if we want to hide this, we can just basically uncheck this option so we don't show the title in the table of contents page like that okay because some people want to show it some people want to rename it some people don't want to show it so um, here's your options and I'm not going to go through this but once again you can change the font and you can change the justification of this right so here's the font you can change that and then you can make it left right or center justified okay so that is the title of the table of contents now over here on the left hand side of this uh, list view control we see all our table of contents uh, items right so these are all the chapters and then the indented ones are all the sections okay and um, over here we see that for each type of item which is a chapter or a section we see three options here showing TOC show title and page break okay so what do they mean so let me explain this the first option is saying that this this item will show up in the table of contents okay so if we go here this is our table of contents page and if this said no for example if the title page said no here then this this item will not show up so this this title will not show up so that option controls that and how do you control these three options well let me just take you into one of the um, the title editor for the section or the or the chapter so what you need to do is basically click on any chapter or section and then right click and then just say rename chapter or a quicker way is to just double click on the chapter itself so if I just double click it brings up my chapter and section title editor and these options over here are the options that you're seeing in that list view control so showing table of contents and then show title and then insert page break so for chapters we always have a page break so I don't allow you to change that it's always going to be a page break which means that the chapter will always show on a brand new page inside your device okay so if you keep this in mind then if we go back to the table of contents you'll see that the title page is turned on now if I go to the title page let me go to the title page double click and I'll turn this sec this option off and this one option off I click OK then I go back to the table of contents then this shows that the title page will not show in the table of contents and will actually not show the title in the uh, in the contents if we go to the title page over here on the top it won't show the actual text which says title page okay and 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 this is the same thing with the page break so if that option is checked on so for example if we go to the section let's go to one of the sections so if we turn this option off for this how to create an ebook section we'll click OK and we go to the TOC 
how to create an ebook UEC, uh, on UEC you see that this page break is turned off it says no so this is a really fast and quick way to basically review all the pages you've got turned on and off and all these other options so it's a really convenient place for you to kind of have a look and see that you know uh, what is turned off what is turned on what do we see what we don't see etc etc okay so that's that the other cool thing you can do with the table of contents is to change the font and size of the table of content items and to do that all you have to do is simply right click anywhere inside this area and then you have two options uh, chapter font or section font so for example let's go to section font and then right now it's bold so let's just make it regular okay and as you can see it does reflect the uh, the type of font that you've selected and the style of the font too so now all the chapters actually stand out and all the uh, sections are indented and they are not bolded okay so let's say for example we want to change the table of contents uh, title to say TOC right uh, no in fact let me just do this table of contents and let's just say we do not want to show this title so we're gonna turn this option off right and a lot of people don't like the title page to show up in the TOC so let's basically do that we'll go we'll double click on the title page and then this option here will say showing table contents will uncheck that and we'll click OK so now when we go back to the table of contents we are not going to show this title this piece of text in the uh, table of contents and also we are not going to show the uh, the table of contents title in the table of contents page okay so let's go ahead and we'll export this as a Mobi file uh, we're just gonna put it on the desktop okay okay so it's created and uh, let me just load this up into the um, the Kindle previewer um, actually we just need to do one thing actually one of the problems with this Kindle Previewer as I did explain in my user guide is that once you have this loaded if you want to see any updates you need to physically delete this from the uh, viewer so we'll select it right click and then say delete this book and then we have to close it down again and so now we double click on the UEC guide the Mobi file and here comes the Kindle desktop viewer and let's go to the table of contents okay so as you can see um, we no longer see the title page as an item in the table of contents and also the table of contents title which is over here and remember we marked that as do not show the title so the title doesn't show up and also the title page item does not show up here as well so that is it um, let me just close this up and oh yeah one more thing um, as you can see the font has taken shape as well so we've got the bold font going on with the chapter and then we've got the normal font that we have down here for the sections okay and um, because the device doesn't actually scroll we'd have to go to the next page to see the rest of the TOC and then the uh, book starts itself okay and finally one last feature is um, let me show you how you can set these uh, three options in a bulk fashion and the reason you might want to do that is that you know you you might want to reset everything back to uh, you know showing TOC showing title and page break and then you might want to just uh, check individual ones and um, it saves a lot of time instead of going through one chapter or section at a time and trying to basically set these options so the bulk actions are within the edit menu here so we go edit and then chapter and then we can have we have basically two options here we can either show 
the title on or we show we don't show and same with the table of contents so if you uh, keep an eye on this area here for this for example the showing table of contents if I uncheck all you'll see that the now showing table of contents is all turned off for the chapters right and we can do the same thing for chapter and show title I'm gonna say uncheck all so now these are all unchecked as well okay the op there is no option for page rate because by default um, all chapters and even the title page there is always a page break and it's uh, it's by design so you can't turn off for chapters but you can do that for sections so for example if I go to the sections I can say uncheck all for insert page break and you'll see that um, all the uh, page breaks for the sections which are these uh, these guys here they all get turned off okay so that was just the last bit of feature if you want to do bulk actions for chapters or sections then you can do that and um, I hope you find that useful